people choose to work with me because, as I said in uh, previous episodes, I have a understanding, a first-hand understanding of what it's like to be a child with a disability. I was a child with a disability. And I understand from the child's perspective of what that looks like, what that feels like. And a lot of times, children don't have the words or the cognitive ability to be able to express what they're feeling in the moment. They don't have the cognitive ability or the word to express what it feels like to go to school and get picked on or what it feels like to feel ostracized or what it feels like to understand that you don't learn like everyone else, what it feels like to go through these things, things day to day. And I have a first-hand experience because I was that child, you know, I was that child that didn't understand disability. I was that child that didn't know why nobody wanted to hold my hand because I looked different. Nobody wanted to play with me because I looked different. I understood what that means. And no, 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 not taking anything away from parents, but if you've never walked that road, then you would never understand what that feels like. Now, on the flip side of that, as a parent, I have a child that has a disability, and I understand what it means to go up to the school and fight for my child. I understand what it means to go up to the school and talk to teachers about what my child needs and her not getting those accommodations. Going to the school board, going to the principal, and explaining to my child explain to them that my child has a disability and because of this disability this is what my child needs. I understand the frustration of dealing with teachers and dealing with principals that don't they just don't understand they just plain don't get it and by me having both of those perspectives allow both the child and the parent to feel comfortable working with me because I know what I'm talking about I've been through it it's hard to help somebody through something if you've never been through it. It's hard to walk through a door that you've never been through. You can't help somebody else in a struggle that you have no idea about. You can't help somebody maneuver through something that you've never had to maneuver through. So I think I bring that added extra up to the situation. Now, yeah, you can go out there. There's tons and tons of life coaches out there all over. There's a life coach in every corner. But if there are life coach on every corner that has walked the road that you're walking. If there's a life coach on every corner that is, has had the experience that you're experiencing right now. If there are life coach on every corner that can say, you know what, mom, I've been there. I know what that feels like. Mom, I know how to work, how to handle that. Or talk to the child. I know what it feels like to have to not have any friends. I know what it feels like to not have anybody to play with. I understand what it feels like when all I want is friends and nobody wants to be my friend because of how I look. I understand that from a first-hand experience. So you tell me, which life coach would you rather have? Would you rather have one that has the experience or would you have rather have one that just read the textbook and can give you the knowledge from the textbook versus having the hands-on experience.